Hi to everyone. Uh, just to say how much I loved last week's service, the Easter service. I loved Daniel's bit from the psalm that he did, and I loved the teenagers uh, reading out the psalm. That was fantastic. I was very proud of everybody. Well, in this sort of section of the service, we've been looking and talking about our hearts. We've been talking about how our hearts can be cold towards God, or our hearts can be lukewarm, somewhere in the middle and how God wants our hearts to be on fire, filled with his Holy Spirit, um, and how at this time of lockdown he's working in our hearts, he's looking at our attitudes and how we're coping with the people around us and living in close proximity with them, and how he's wanting to do something in our hearts, something wonderful. And before the virus came, in Flame, we were doing a story uh, about a man, and this man had a very cold heart. His heart was turned away from God. Uh, his name was George Muller. He was born in 1805, so just over 200 years ago, um, in a town in Germany called Kroppenstedt. Don't know if I'm saying that properly. Um, he would have been brought up going to church, but not really as a Christian. He's, his house might have looked a bit like this. He was from a reasonably well-off family. Uh, his father worked for the government, but George was a rebel. Even as a child, he didn't want to do what God wanted. He didn't want to do what his parents wanted. He lied. He was selfish. Um, this is his own description of himself. Um, and also he was a thief. He stole things. He even stole money from his parents. Um, and when he was a young teenager, he began to drink heavily. Uh, and his heart was very hard and very cold um, and he turned away from God and from people and on the night his mother died when he was a teenager he was drinking and he was drunk out in the town um, but he he then discovered something worse than the drinking in some ways which was gambling um, and he recklessly gambled with his father's money, still just a young teenager. And when he was 16, he got some of his friends together and he said, let's go on an adventure, let's go to Switzerland, uh, let's gather up what money we've got and we'll go off together and we'll travel around and stay in hotels. And they began to stay in luxury hotels. Their money quickly ran out. He then stole the last of the money from the friends um, and ended up in a hotel uh, where he didn't pay the bill. They hadn't paid the bill in the previous hotel. They just left in the middle of the night. They crept out without paying it. And he was in this hotel and he thought, well, it's fine. I'll just leave the hotel in the night again. Won't pay the bill. And try and make my way back home. But the hotelier had heard what they were up to. Um, and he sat up and waited, waited till, till George crept out of the hotel that night, uh, chased after him, and they caught him, they called the police, um, and age 16 he ended up in a debtor's prison um, in Switzerland alone. Uh, it took about three weeks for his father to hear back in Germany what had happened, um, and he, the father then came and rescued him, paid the bills to the hotels and took him back home. And he must have had a, one of those kind of what are we going to do with you, George, kind of conversations. And he decided that he needed to get his son studying and he needed to get him to university. So when he was 18, he was sent off to university in Halle, in the town of Halle. Um, and there he studied and he worked, but he also fell in with the wrong crowd pretty quickly. Um, he was gambling again. Uh, he... Uh, was using his father's money, he was stealing money again and drinking um, and he just, despite trying to change, he remained the same. And one night when he was 21, he was in the town, he met one of his friends and he said to the friend, what are you doing tonight? It was a Saturday night. And his friend surprised him and said, I'm going to a prayer meeting. And this friend of his was trying to change his own life and pull away from this bad life. Um, and George Muller said, I'll come with you. They went to a prayer meeting. This is a picture of the house where the actual prayer meeting took place. Um, and a man called Herr Wagner um, led the prayer meeting. These were real Christians. George had never been to 
anything like this before and he was astonished by what he saw and what he felt and as he came out from that prayer meeting that night he turned to his friend and he said all the things we've done all our travels across Switzerland all the money all the girls all the gambling all the drink none of it compares to what I found in that prayer meeting tonight he said he went to bed happy that night and he couldn't bear the thought of waiting a whole week for the next prayer meeting. So he went back to that house three times that week to talk to them um, and to hear more about Jesus. Um, and God was melting his heart. Where's his hard heart? Here it is. Uh, God was melting his heart, working in his life, uh, beginning to change him. And we'll do the next bit of the story next week. Uh, George Muller said that at that time on that night, he said, God shone a light into my soul, shone a light into my heart and began to work in my heart. So let's just pray. Father, we thank you so much that you were able to work in our hearts. Lord, we confess that our hearts are a mix of things. There's some cold patches and there's some lukewarm and there's a little bit of, of fire, a few embers, Lord. And we want to pray that this time of lockdown, we've got three more weeks of this, uh, that you would do something wonderful in our hearts. You would melt more of the icy patches and come and breathe on the embers um, and cause the fire of your Holy Spirit, Jesus, to burn in a new way in us. Amen. Oh,